Hi, excuse me. Hi, Taurus. It's L here to do your June 2019 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those who've already done so. Um, make sure you are commenting a yes or no question below because every Friday I do a live read and I can answer your question for free. Okay, so let's get into it. So the cards look like there's a situation with a Taurus who is dealing with uh, maybe a third party situation or you're dealing with someone or something from your past. It's a situation that just keeps uh, kind of resurfacing, reinserting itself in your current position, your current life. Now, this could be the Taurus that is, you know, has the third party or this could be the Taurus's person or the Taurus could be the third party. Um, also, there's like someone who is trying to move, who's trying to secure uh, some, you know, p element of moving, paperwork. Um, it's a process. And in this process, the Taurus feels like, okay, this is kind of like an uphill battle. Um, there's always something that comes up in regards to moving forward. Uh, but with that being said, the cards look like for that Taurus who I'm speaking to, keep going, keep whatever, you know, maybe the bank or, you know, any, any agency, whatever they ask you for, just provide it because you have the will of fortune twice and it looks like things are turning around in your favor. You feel like you're stuck in a negative cycle. Um, and not moving forward, but you have a potentially good message coming to you. The page of wands, one that sends you in a new direction. The page of wands is always, or any of the wands is always talking about growth and, and taking action and movement. Um, some of you, uh, you were, you're trying to heal a situation from the past. Maybe that involves children. Or you have children with someone. Um, some of you were looking to extend an offer to maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aquarius highlighted here. Um, in regards to the, you know, family dynamic and, and children. And this could have been a friend. Um, you want to restore a friendship or restore something there. Um, someone that may have walked away from you or vice versa. Um, it looks like uh, just keep going with that situation. Um, what may seem burdensome, it will eventually kind of level out. Um, you're just in a place of feeling like it just isn't going to get any better or you're already grieving you know, what happened in the past and not looking to the present as of what you have now in regards to some type of shakeup or mishap or, or some moving forward. For some of you, there will be a challenging, uh, some challenging event conflict that arises in a particular relationship. Um, it is going to make you, how, how you deal with the, the, the situation, the conflict will be, re, you know, re, reflect past history, how you've dealt with it in the past, because this is something that keeps reinserting or resurfacing with a particular person. It could be in a marriage, it could be in a longstanding relationship, friendship, whatever, um, career and finance. It just looks like okay, how did I deal with this in the past? Oh no, I don't want to do that. Going forward, let me course correct and go in a new route. It looks like if you take the advice of kind of reflecting on, on what it is you, what part you play in this situation, you can get um, 
a, your desired outcome. You can um, come to a place of making a plan of action, a plan of action in regards to getting who you want or what you want. But not without dealing with something. You have the Five of Swords twice. That talks about drama, love affairs, um, romance, just conflict there sometimes. Um, opposing um, parties, opposition. It says that something is closing out. Something is over, but not before the fight. Or with something being over, there might be someone trying to fight for or fight with. A situation of someone holding secrets or holding energy of a of a of a of a person um, that they may have told you they have got they they got rid of. It's here. So if you're a Taurus where you're dealing with someone, you're dealing with uh, your husband or wife or long-term boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever, um, they may have cheated in the past or they had somebody else in their energy. They said that that was over. It looks like something like that is, that relationship is re-establishing itself, resurfacing, um, reinserting itself into your life. Um, there is someone conflicted about moving forward in a family dynamic or becoming single. Someone has plans of taking action about or on a business. They have a business idea that makes them restless in their current position. Um, there's a lot of conflict within their work environment or there's inner conflict. Or there's just a lot of jealousy. Uh, there's a lot of um, gossip. A lot of uh, just discord wherever you work. It looks like you feel like something else marries you on a soul level where you can find, um, you know, peace. If you feel like this relationship or this other career is mutually beneficial. And it may have something to do with being an entrepreneur or having some type of entrepreneur mindset, working more independently. There's also something reinserting itself in an established relationship. If you take the advice of the cards by looking at the past and how you dealt with situations, with a situation like this, um, you understand that you're going to have to be strong in dealing with this. Some of you, the temptation lies with the Taurus. The Taurus is tempted to talk to, rekindle with, or, or just kind of pull up that energy from the past with the person um, that is not really talking to them now. Uh, they may be bored in their current relationship or position. And, or you, so when you're dealing with Taurus, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, there is something or someone else that this person or you, you have in your energy, and now it looks like it, it may get um, expose that you're still holding court with this person if not full on dating them and going out with them and whatever there's still something between the two of you or, or vice versa Taurus something between the two uh, you, uh, you know your partner and someone else and it looks like it'll get exposed here to where it may have someone contemplating uh singlehood really taking the leap because they feel as if they cannot get over or someone can't get over 
past issue in a long uh, term relationship. Five of Swords again. It says take caution here and know that things are not exactly how they seem. You, there might be a, a big misunderstanding within yourself. There is something that you are not admitting to yourself. So it's delusion for you. You know or you feel that something is it's reinserting or something is there in, in an established relationship. Or, or you want to take action on a new business. Something of that nature. Okay? Uh, Taurus, if you feel like this reading resonated with you or for you, go over to the website and book your own reading. Uh, make sure you take advantage of a three-card um, email reading that will come to you in email form. There will be no extended this month. Uh, not for this read, maybe for the mid-June read. Um, but if you have a question, take advantage of the three-card reading. That is um, still, as of today, $5.00. 55 cents um once we get into the month of june it will be six dollars 66 cents okay all right thank you Taurus. know that i am praying for you pray for me as well take care guys